So the first question that we are doing here is on taxation. And normally when you have taxation, the first thing that you will be given is the taxable income. So there's a taxable income over there. You need to make sure that the taxable income is annual. So something that is annual is something that is paid to you yearly. So you need to make sure. So whenever a taxable income is given to you um, and it is monthly, first thing you do is always make sure that you multiply that monthly income by 12. And when you've multiplied it by 12, it will give you your annual income. And the annual income is then when you can now calculate the taxable income. You cannot calculate taxable income unless you have annual income. So we always work it out from our annual income. Let's go and see what this tax table gives us over here. It says to us that income tax rates for individuals 2017 tax year so we've been given um, a year over there that we are going to be working with and it says to us that the tax year is from the 1st of march to the 28th of february 2017 and then on the side over here we've got brackets we do have a tax bracket on the side over here um, and it's one two three four five and six and with our first taxable bracket, I will show you over there what's happening. It's from zero rands to 188,000 rand taxable income, meaning that you, you will be paying 18% um, taxable income over there. And then the second bracket is between 188,000 and one rand to 293,600 rand. So I will be explaining in some of the other questions because this question doesn't really um, ask us specifically how to calculate the taxable income. But the interesting thing is that you get different types of questions. So we do need to prepare um, for every type of question that we will be given. Let's look at some of the questions that we've been given um, over here. And the first question that we do have here is what does the acronym S-A-R-S, which is SARS, what does that stand for? So in maths literacy, some of the most important things um, that you do need to know are some acronyms in terms of finance. Um, you do need to look at some of the most asked questions in terms of that. So it's very, very important. Terms like UIF, um, pay P-A-Y-E, those are the type of things that you need to know in terms of acronyms. So in this particular case, we are being asked what SARS stands for. Um, SARS does stand for the South African Revenue Services. So I hope that you're holding that at the back of your head in case you are asked one of these questions in your prelims um, or one of your tests and so on. So that was 1.2.1. South African Revenue services. Okay, stunning. So 1.2.2 is asking us, write down the minimum amount of tax payable for tax bracket three. The only thing we need to do with that is that we go to tax bracket three and we have tax bracket three that is over here and tax bracket three basically is going to tell us the minimum amount um, of tax payable. Please be very, very careful. This is the tax income for the year and then this is the minimum tax payable. So it's 61,000. Make sure that the, the amount is correct, 61,296, 296. So we've got that over there. 1.2.3 asks us, calculate uh, Mr. Bidet's average monthly taxable income. That one's very, very, very easy. All you need to do is to take this amount over here and to just divide it um, so what you need to do is look at the um, keywords and the keyword says to us we need to write the monthly um, taxable income. So 1.2.3, we know we've been given the annual taxable income and because the annual taxable income is 542,000, 542,000, 
and 96 and 76. 96 and 76. So all we do with this particular amount is we divide that by 12. So we take that amount because it's the annual, 542,000 and 96 and 76 divided by 12 months because we have 12 months in a year. Let's go and calculate that and see exactly um, what it is going to give us. So 542,000 and 96 comma 76. Let's just make sure that I am putting in the correct value. Brilliant, that is the correct value divided by 12. So that gives us 45,174. 45,174 and 73 cents. So whenever you are given an annual amount, that means that you're going to divide it by 12 to find your monthly. Those are the key words that we are working with in math literacy. So whenever you're given a monthly amount and you asked for an annual amount, you multiply it by 12. But whenever you are given an annual amount and you are asked for a monthly amount, that's when you then divide it by 12, which then gives you the monthly amount. So look out for the keywords. Um, the keywords are what guide you, basically. Let's go and see what the next question is. It says to us there, identify the tax bracket applicable to Mr. Bidet's taxable income. So obviously, if he earns... Um, 542,000 and 96 cents and 76, I mean, and 96 and 76. Let's go and identify the tax bracket. It is going to definitely be tax bracket number four because he falls in between this particular tax bracket. So your answer just becomes tax bracket four.